Hi, hi, I'm Holly Capelli, a gardener just like you. My summer garden is keeping me busy. Today, I harvested this enormous and beautiful Savoy cabbage. It's bigger than my head, and I have a huge head, if I do say so myself. <laughs> so I'm super excited about this success story. The bugs didn't get this one. Another thing we have popping off right now are our table grapes. You can see this beautiful cluster behind me. This arbor is full of them. This is a three-year-old plant, and this is the first year that it's fruiting. And the clusters are just picture perfect. They're seedless and so sweet. So I cannot wait to get those harvested. We also have cucamelons that are not quite ready, but the vine is sure looking fancy. Same with my loofahs. They're promising, but nothing yet to harvest. Um, a new surprise in the garden are our Chinese long beans. They just showed up out of nowhere and they're so long. <laughs> I can't wait to show you those. Um, so come on, let's go check it out. But before we do, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming Kellogg Garden videos. And also be sure to share and like this video as well. Let's go check it out. These are called Chinese red yard long beans. And boy, are they amazing. This is the first time I've grown these in our garden. Look how long they are. Funny story about these. I actually sowed them three different times in two different places between last season and this season uh, with zero germination. I had about five or six seeds left and I was planting these um, sunset runner beans so I just went ahead and threw them in this box with those and called it good and wouldn't you know it we walked by the other day and boom tons of long beans it's just magical gardening sometimes totally magical this is another first in bloom for us this year. Our table grapes have exploded. We planted these about three years ago. Last year we did see a cluster or two, but this is the first time that we're really getting giant grape clusters. Um, again, they're table grapes, so they are seedless. Just pop them in your mouth and start snacking. Broccoli in the garden is looking beautiful. I rarely get those giant store-bought looking clusters of broccoli and I don't hold off and wait for them to appear. They're not coming. So something like this would be something I'd harvest. Start munching on. Notice that perfect little cabbage back there. Things are going good. Summer garden means corn is on the horizon. With our weird heat domes that we've had, the corn has been a little crazy this year. It seems to have really taken off and then it got hit with the heat and it was stunted for a minute. Then it recovered and took off again and then we had to repeat. So we'll see how many ears we get. These are all glass gem corn so all for popcorn lots of pretties fingers crossed lots of jalapenos growing here in this pot they're doing really well i have no idea if these are green ones orange ones red ones what i don't know <laughs> i lost the tag <laughs> but they're looking good Mums are such a welcome addition to the garden this time of year. As some of the summer stuff starts to die off, it's nice to see the fall things come back so lush and beautiful. Not only will they add color in the garden, but mums are edible. So I'll be making all kinds of beautiful pretty dishes out of those this fall. Sharing the teepee trellis we have in the garden with the cucamelons are these dry beans called cranberry beans. Dry beans are the easiest thing to grow. You just leave them on the plant, let it dry naturally. Once the skin is completely dried, you pick it, open it up, take your dry beans out, 
I like to let them sit on a screen for several days just to make sure they're fully completely dried and then I just stick them in a glass jar with a tight fitting lid dry beans last years which is why it's a super great garden collection to have plus so easy you don't have to do anything the Sun does everything I love that our blackberries have been abundant this year all of our berries actually were really outstanding blueberries were phenomenal our golden raspberries and red raspberries did great and our strawberries would have done good too had we not had a little visit from a deer early in the season um, but all in all it's been quite a successful year for berries we've harvested tons of blackberries already several pounds of them um, and as you can see there are still lots to go so we'll be gathering those up today as well lots happening here in the tomato area this is one of three sections that we have tomatoes growing in numerous different varieties these are called black beauty and they sure are we have a mix of some cherry tomatoes in the back and then the bigger tomatoes here in the front all of them looking a bit thirsty actually these are called Aunt Ruby's green, German Green Tomatoes. Spa Garden is full of jewels. Oh my gosh, look at how many beautiful tomatoes we have going. These are called blueberries. And those, of course, are the sun golds. Here we have chocolate cherries. They're big and sweet. And over here we have the same varieties growing as well. Super successful. Thanks so much for joining me today on this little tour of my August garden. I hope it in some way inspires you or gives you ideas on what you can do in your summer garden. We'll see you next time, but until then, you can find me over at Instagram at Big Family Living, where we share our everyday happenings. Happy gardening!